What is a SAS library and how can I create one? My name is Dominique, I'm a technical trainer with SAS, and in this video I'm going to answer all your questions about libraries. This is Live Name 101. In SAS, analysts can choose to connect to data in a variety of different sources, but in order to connect to that data, you need to set up a library using a live name statement. Libraries are just a connection to files that are of the same type and in the same location. For example, you can have a library that connects to all the SAS data sets in a folder, all the worksheets in a workbook, or all the data sets in a database. You also have some libraries that are automatically assigned and ready to go as soon as you sign into your SAS session. Let's take a look at our libraries pane. You can see that I have a couple of different libraries available to me. The SAS Help Library has some great sample data sets that you can use as you're practicing your programming skills. You just need to make sure that when you're referencing a table from a given library that you use the library's name as a prefix with a period and the table name. So in this example, I'm printing off one of the data sets from the SAS Help Library. Just a simple fictitious data set of 19 students. You also have other libraries. The work library is a pretty important one. It is a temporary library, so anything that you write to that library will be erased at the end of your SAS session. And then if your administrator has set up other libraries for you, they'll also appear here. But occasionally, you might need to set up that connection yourself. So you're going to have to write a live name statement to create a library to connect to your data. Your live name statement can look a variety of ways, but in general, it's going to have these four parts. Starting off, you have to have the word live name. It's a live name statement after all. After the live name statement, you give a name to this library. You are naming this connection. You can name it pretty much anything you want as long as it's within eight characters and it starts with a letter or an underscore and it continues with letters, numbers, or underscores. So anything you want within those bounds. After the name of your library, you have to state what type of data you're connecting to. This is where you're naming the engine that you're going to use. For base SAS data sets, you'd use the base engine. For Excel workbooks, you can use the XLSX engine. For Oracle or Teradata or Hadoop, you're going to use the engine with those given names. To get technical, engines are the behind the scenes set of instructions that tell SAS how to read and display the data from that given source. After you state the engine, you're going to need to state some connection options. Depending on the engine, this might include the file or folder path, your username or password or other credentials for that database, or any other database specific options. I'm going to show you a couple examples of live name statements, but you're probably going to want to check out the documentation linked below this video. That's where you can find all of the options that you might need to connect to your data sources. Let's take a look at an example. Here I have a SAS program where I'd like to read some data coming from a folder that I have. So if I look at my files and folders, I have the S drive, the workshop, and then the data folder. Inside of the data folder, I have a ton of SAS data sets and an Excel file in here. I want to connect to just those SAS data sets, so I'm going to set up a library that will do that. I have a live name statement here that I need to complete. First, I need to start by stating my library name. I'll call it MyLib. Then I need to state the engine. The base SAS engine is the default engine, so even if I left off the word base here, I'd be good to go. But I'll put it there just for documenting purposes. For the base engine, all I need to do is supply the folder where these files are located. The live name statement is a global statement, so it does not need to have a run statement afterwards. And I only need to submit it once for my SAS session. You'll find that typically analysts will put these live name statements at the top of their SAS programs or even in an auto exec file that will automatically execute as soon as you enter your SAS session. Now I'm just going to highlight this statement, give it a run, and you'll notice in my log I'll see this note saying that the libref was successfully assigned, and then in my libraries pane, I can see the My Lib Libraries there. You may need to refresh your Libraries pane, but in my case, it's already there. I can see all of those SAS data sets that are in the S Workshop data folder. They're just represented here in my Libraries pane. And now I can write programs that reference those data sets as long as I reference the library name as the prefix to the table name. So here, I'm going to print off the first 10 rows from the customer table in that library. There we have our results. And when you're done using a library, it's always a good idea to release that connection. 
This can prevent us from accidentally making changes to those data sources or from just utilizing resources that we aren't using. So I can write a live name statement with my library name in the word clear after to release that connection. If I get rid of a library or deassign it or delete a library, I'm just releasing that connection. All of the underlying data is still in its original location. The S workshop data folder, all of those files are still there. And if I were to have written to that library, I'd be writing a SAS data set in that data folder and it would still be there. Let's go back over to our code. I also have an example of an Excel workbook. So in my data folder, I have this file called sales.xlsx. If I download the sales XLSX file, you'll notice that there are three worksheets in this workbook. You'll have the sales list worksheet, the sales email worksheet, and the sales phone worksheet. It's just fictitious data. Um, for marketing purposes, they're calling these people and asking them if they need, I don't know, credit cards. <laughs> I'm gonna exit out of this and create a library that will connect to those worksheets. So the requirements for this live name statement, of course I need to name my library. I'm naming it Sales Excel. I'm using the proper engine, XLSX. <laughs> and I need to make sure that I'm pointing all the way down to the file in this case. Previously, we had the folder because the folder was like a collection of files. Well, a workbook is a collection of worksheets, so I need to point all the way down to the workbook. I'll give this statement a run. I'll show you my libraries. Now I have the sales Excel library where you can see the sales email, sales list, and sales phone table. I can work with these data sets like any other data set in SAS, as long as I reference the library name dot the table name. Here, I'm gonna print off the sales email table and it works just fine. I can also write to these locations. So if I have the proper permissions, I can write to this workbook and I do. So in this example, I am using a data step to create the zip code worksheet in that workbook. I'm reading from the sashelp.zip code table. If I give this a run, because my library is pointing to an Excel workbook, this now becomes a worksheet in that physical workbook. So we'll have four worksheets. The library's pane will update, and you'll notice that I have all four of those files. Disconnecting from your library, again, is always a great idea, helps you conserve resources. So I'll run my live name statement with the clear option. Last but not least, I'll show you an example of connecting to a database. Now, this is using a Microsoft Access database. You might be instead connecting to something like Oracle, Teradata, Hadoop, or any other database. And we do have engines that connect to those databases. So be sure to check out the documentation below that will link you to the syntax that will be required for that specific database. In this example, I still need to name my library. I'm naming it DB for database. I'm using the PC files engine, and I'm just pointing to that database. It's located inside of the S workshop database folder. As you can see here, it's called SQL underscore DB, and it's a Microsoft Access database. This engine, the PC files engine, is going to require for me to use the DB password equals option, where the password is just SAS test. If I give this a run, my library's pane will reflect that I've connected to that data and I can see that this database has five data sets in it. Of course, I can print off these data sets or work with any other procedures or data step code, as long as I use the library name as a prefix. And when I'm done working with that database, I'll submit my live name statement with the clear option. When I disconnect from my library, my data is not deleted, it's still there, I've just disconnected from it. The only exception is a library that points to a temporary location, that is the work library. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for SAS Programming One where we cover this and all the other basics to get you started programming in SAS. Don't forget to like, comment with questions, and subscribe to the SAS Users YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'm using the proper engine, XLSX, X, S, L, X, XLSX. <laughs>